Hi everyone, in this video you're going to learn what the Pythagorean theorem is when you have a look at right angle triangles and its squares. Alright, so the Pythagorean theorem is only for right angle triangles. The Egyptians already used the rule when building the pyramids. However, the Greek mathematician by Epitagoras was the first who proved the properties of right angle triangles and therefore it's known as the Pythagorean theorem. We can draw a right angle triangle. And please remember that you can see that something is a right angle triangle because of a 90 degree symbol. This is 4 centimeters and 3 centimeters. What I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a square of 4 by 4, a square of 3 by 3, and if I measure the side with my protected triangle, I can see that it's 5 centimeters. So I'm going to calculate to draw a square of 5 by 5. So this was 4, 3, and 5. They discovered that the area, so 4 times 4 equals 16. And 3 times 3 equals 9. And 5 times 5 equals 25. What he discovered is that when you add the area of the two small squares, that you get the area of the large square. And that's not only for this example, but that's for all right angle triangles. So for each right angle triangle, area 1 plus area 2 equals area 3. So the small area plus another small area equals the big area. And we can see that over here as well, since 9 plus 16 equals 25. So our small area plus our other small area is our big area. This is not the formal rule that we use because what we use is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So what we did, we call this side, for instance, b. So, um... That is called B, so I can write it down as well. So then this one is B as well, since it is a square. We could call this one A, and that one as well. And then this was C, C. So the area is side times side, since it's a square. So it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And that's how we can formulate the Pythagorean theorem row. If you have any questions, please let me know. 